I just sat here for five minutes in silence, just trying to figure out what to talk about in this video. And that's what a creative block is. <laughs> And I've been feeling so just tired lately and unable to speak into existence. Like I have things to say and I have things I want to talk about, but then I sit down and I try to make a video about it and try to talk about it. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't. And I feel a sense of guilt sometimes, you know? Because I really want to make videos and, and I really enjoy making them and, and I enjoy streaming and I enjoy all of the things that, that YouTube has to offer and, and exploring those options and I really enjoy it. And sometimes I just have moments where I just have nothing to say. I have moments where I have no idea what I should say. Almost kind of like a block, a creative block. It's really a creative block because not because I can't come up with ideas of what to talk about because I have tons and tons of ideas of things that I could talk about, but it's more so like my, my mind is just like, Alex, you have nothing really to talk about anymore. At least not right now. And it almost feels like it's my mind telling me, Alex, there's just nothing there. You just have nothing there right now. <laughs> and that's okay. You know, sometimes you don't even, you don't always have to have something to say. But sometimes I get riddled with, with guilt. Like I feel like I, I should have something to say. And, and then I start to think, and then I start to spiral and I think, oh, is it because I, it's not, what I'm saying is not worth to say? Is it because it, it doesn't matter? Is it because it doesn't make a difference? All of these things. And, I don't know. I I have this kind of pressure that I that I put myself under to be perfect, to perform perfectly, to always be consistent, to always be this this beacon of light or this beacon of of wisdom of I guess I don't really have that much wisdom being that I'm 26, but whatever i have certain things that i like to talk about and but sometimes i just it just doesn't come out sometimes i could sit there writing and then it just stops it's like my mind has been so on overdrive constantly making things constantly thinking of new things and then sometimes it just gets tired and it's like Alex you need to stop and you need to just be a uh, a blob and just not think about anything and not do anything and not talk about anything and you just sit there like a blob and this is how I feel I feel like a blob I feel like a blob I feel like I have nothing to say and I'm making a video about having nothing to say <laughs> and I think it's such a normal thing too uh, in life or in anything creative that you go through or just you reach a point where sometimes you just need to take a break from your mind constantly working on, on overdrive. And oftentimes you feel a sense of guilt. Like, why am I not, why am I not doing this? Like, I should be working on this. I, sh I should be more creative. I should, why can't I come up with ideas? And you almost like guilt yourself. You feel bad for yourself and you hate yourself for it. Because I know I do. I know I do. When I have moments like this, I just, I look at myself and I'm like, Alex, you're, you're so, you're so stupid. Like, why the fuck can't you just like come up with more ideas? Or why the fuck can't you just be more eloquent? Or why the fuck can't you just be more like this or be more like that? And then I'm always like in my head, like, why am I not this perfect person that I aspire to be and now I think that that creative block that block that I'm reached is just my mind and my body telling me Alex 
you don't need to perform at this high of a expectations that you place yourself under. And it's okay to take time. And these moments, it makes me think it's okay to just not have anything to say. It's okay to sit in silence. It's okay to not be this entertaining person all the time. It's okay to just sit in silence. And it's okay that you don't have any of the creative juices flowing. It's okay that you can't come up with anything new. It's okay that you can't continue writing your idea. It's okay that you don't know how to go with your painting. It's okay to have moments where there's nothing. Because we are so, so focused and hard on ourselves on making sure there's always something going on. And sometimes I feel bad when I go through this moment, through these moments. I feel bad. I feel bad about myself. I feel like I'm I'm not good at what I'm doing. I feel like I start doubting myself and everything that I've ever done because of this. And I'm trying to realize and I'm trying to reframe my perspective to just look at it as this is just how it is. And this is just your mind telling you to take a break. And I love making content. I love making videos. And I love interacting with every one of you. And I feel so grateful because I've always wanted to do this my entire life. And in whatever form, I don't know. I don't know what form this is. I guess just like a chit chat or interaction or whatever. And in my mind, I want to do something different with my YouTube channel. I don't want to just make the same recycled content over and over. I want to make something new and something different. And sometimes that comes with a lot of stress and anxiety that I'm not doing enough, that I'm not worth it enough, that I'm not, you know, the person that I aspire to be. And I'm sure that with a lot of creative people, not that what I'm doing is necessarily creative, but with a lot of creative people, painters and writers and musicians, I know that this is something that all of us go through. Even if you're not an artist, I'm sure that there, these are moments that you go through as well. Where you think to yourself, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? And sometimes you just cannot put all of your energy like you did <laughs> last week or the week before or the month before. Sometimes your mind and your body need a break. And even though we hate ourselves for it, even though we're hard on ourselves for it, I think it's important to take that break and to just be a blob and just have nothing, just have absolutely nothing go in. It just, everything goes in and goes out and you're just there, just zen. You're just zen. And you, and, and you know what? We need those moments because only after you've had moments of clarity, moments of just nothingness, that's when everything comes again. And I know, because it's not the first time, and it's not the last time, and it's not the first time for you, and it's not the last time for you. So if you're going through a creative block right now, I get it. It's November, it's getting cold, people, it's getting unmotivating, it's getting so unmotivating to really do anything, it's getting dark at like 4 p.m. in the afternoon, I get it. I get it. We're not as motivated. We're not as strong. We're not as creative. We're not as able to put our energy into our creative endeavors or endeavors that we love to do. And sometimes it's okay to take a break. And I'm doing this video not because I have to, because I could take a break anytime I want, but because I think it's important. I think it's important to recognize that we're not always going to have something to say. We're not always going to be these like machines of creation constantly. Even though we want to be, we can't.
And sometimes it's okay to just sit back and be in silence and have nothing going on. Is this what mental health looks like? Where it's just like nothing in your brain? I don't know what that's all about, but... <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I appreciate you being here and listening to my shenanigans. May you have a great day. Bye! <laughs> I'm gonna go... I'm on my... I'm on my... My dog passed away, and this is his... We still have his bed, so... I'm sitting on it, but it's actually, it's actually incredibly comfortable. So maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just sit here for a while. Sounds nice. Anyway, that's it for today. Have a great day. Bye.